Hi everybody, I'm Christina with Creation Bound and so we have just went vintage shopping and we are about to show you some of our finds. I'm going to do kind of an unboxing type video for our products um, and then we'll show you the shopping process later on down the run as we go. Um, we didn't record the shopping today so we're just going to do unboxing. And make sure to click on the link for our Etsy shop so that you can see some of these products listed and get a good bargain. I'm not going to show you prices as I would be shooting myself in the foot because I do try to do this for a living. So just know that you're getting a pretty good deal. I pass deals along. I'm not in this to be rich. I'm in this to just make money. Come with me so I can show you the lamps. He's following me with the camera as y'all can tell if you're wondering who I'm talking to. Okay, so first things first. These I can't really unbox because I couldn't. So the first find we found. I call these bubble lamps or mid-century style lamps that usually have night lights and another lamp. It does need a finial and some definite work <laughs> done to it, especially with the shade. It was in rough shape, but it was a pretty good buy. I can clean that up, I'm sure, and make a pretty good deal on it. Um, next was the mid-century ice bucket that I found. I thought that was really cool. It's going to need some cleaning up. There's a treasure in there as well. We'll see what that is later on. Um, so that'll be featured as well. Then if you'll come over here, we have your find, Adam. This was covered in dust up on a shelf and he got a pretty good deal on it. It is going to need some work. Can you get a good shot on that? Yeah, that glass it was a really cool lamp, I thought. And I think with a little work, it will make a very good piece. Okay, and then we'll go on to this other side and see what's over here. The rest of the stuff is boxed up, wrapped up. There was just stuff that we couldn't have wrapped up because, well, we buy lamps and things like that. Um, and, well, you can't really lap, wrap them up. But this next lamp I'm going to show you, you're only going to be able to see part of it. And we'll unwrap the shade once we get inside. It's my favorite pick of the day. And as you can tell, just from already from these beautiful crystals, this is going to be a one-of-a-kind, very, very beautiful lamp. The base is wooden, and you'll have to stay tuned to see what the shade is. All right. And that's it for out here. We'll meet you inside to unbox everything else. Okay, guys, so we're back in the house, and we are about to unbox our treasures that we found and see what we've got. Okay, and just before we start, a couple of things. Just bear in mind, we are doing this video today and I will be getting ready to clean this stuff and list it this week. Um, so by the time we post this video, I'm not sure, it'll probably be what, in a couple of weeks or so? Okay, so some of this may be available, some of it may not. Um, but I don't, it doesn't sell that fast. There's a couple of things on here I'm thinking might sell really fast. Um, but just bear in mind, if you don't see it whenever you do go to the shop online, um, that's why. And we will have plenty for you to look at besides what you see here today because I've already got about 88 listings on the shop. Um, so you're bound to find something. Um, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and show you what was in the ice bucket. Since we well, kind of gave you a sneak peek of what's in there. And this is another one of my favorite finds. It was really cheap. I've got to do a lot of cleaning on it, um, but I think it's going to be, it's going to turn out real nice. I've been looking for a mid century ice bucket to add to my collection for my shop, and I think this is going to do nicely. Oh, goodness. They really wrap this with packing tape. I need like scissors or something. I don't use your knife, and you know that. And I got scissors, because I obviously need them. And just another thing, I, you don't see me alone on the camera, guys. I do not like being on camera. Um, <laughs> I, it's, it, you know, I don't like the way I sound. I don't like the way I look. Um, blame it on, you know, tape recorders when you're a little kid, you know. You get a tape recorder, and you want to hear what you sound like, and, you know, you think, Oh, I sing like Michael Jackson. I sing like, you know, Fleetwood Mac, and I'm going to hit every note. 
So you play that, you know, you record that song and you think, man, I just gave the best performance of my life. And then you play it back. And it's like a troll climbed inside of your tape recorder because that's in no way that's your voice. So ever since then, I've been a little wary of, I don't like video. Okay. I don't know how else to say it. All right. So, and this is his thing mostly anyway. This is my thing. This is what I like to do. Not this. Okay, but anyway, I've already opened this. This is how bad I am at this. This was pretty simple. This is a glass butter dish. And the reason I got this is I'm not selling this like this. But you would be amazed how many silver butter trays we come across where it has, we have something to show you a little later on. I think that you'll, I'll just go ahead and give you a heads up. Okay, I have a butter tray already. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's see, where is it? I just set it in, I think I set it in that one over there. Okay, I found what I was looking for. See, I'm not good at this video thing like I told you guys. So, this is something we found that I love. I love silver. Silver is really good um, as far as collecting. Also, it sells really well. Um, a lot of people like silver. Um, but if you'll see, there is a glass tray that sits inside the silver piece. And we find these like this all day long. But to me, it's not complete unless it has, and this is a replacement, the glass butter dish. So the next time we find one without its glass dish, because you can find them all day at a really good deal, without the glass. I got this at a good deal, I'll put it together, sell it as one. I kind of like to do things like that. All right, on to the next thing. So that was what was in the ice bucket. You've seen this lamp. This lamp is also another lamp that we have on our shop. Um, this globe as well. That's actually featured in another video, isn't it, that we have coming up? Yeah, so be on the lookout for that one. All right, I'm coming back. I know, I'm off camera. Okay. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and let you see what I was talking about with this one. So, this is a wooden base, and I'm letting you know right now, this is a heavy, heavy lamp. So, this is a pretty solid lamp, which is as beautiful as it is. I'm glad it's that solid, because that means if somebody bumps it, or they bump a table, this lamp is not going to go too far. So, and I'm believing that they told me they put it in this box under here. Do you think the shade? Okay, well, we're going to see. So, you're going to be as surprised as me. So, oh, no. These are, ooh, I got bulbs. I've got bulbs. These go to another set of lamps that I have. It's what? It's in the same box. They packed everything at that place. Or is it in that box over there? I needed to, I have another box okay, off camera. <laughs> okay, so sorry about that. We had another box off camera that he did not realize we had that we had to bring over here, and that is what the shade is in. So, a lot of paper, which I keep all this. I recycle this whenever I go to ship my products. Um, I'm real big on recycling. Another thing that I'm big on upcycling and reselling is it's good for the environment. It's good to use recyclables, especially when you're using plastic. And you can already kind of see what we're getting into. It's milk glass. Oh, there's something else to another thing that we have in there. We'll try not to show you too much of that, but you don't know what that really goes to, so you have no idea. All right. So, this is a Hob Nail Milk Glass Shade. It is absolutely gorgeous. I would imagine that this is way bigger than 10 inches. 10 inches is the standard diameter for what they call Gone with the Wind type shades and lamps. Um, but I would imagine this is probably... <laughs> It may be a 14 or 16. It's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. So, this lamp is absolutely beautiful. It was my favorite pick of the day. Very good deal. <laughs> Very much enough meat on the bone, so to speak, to be able to make a pretty penny. So, now that you can see it more clearly, you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Definitely my favorite pick of the day. And this doesn't need a lot of work done to it. It's one of those I can plug in, I can post online, and I can 
have it ready to sell as soon as possible. So, now, we have something in here. Y'all kind of saw a hint of what that was a minute ago. We'll get to that in just a second. So, let's go to these bags first and foremost. I already told you we had another pair of lamps. That's what these light bulbs are for. We'll see those in a little bit. We have a thing about lamps. Um, I love them. My husband really loves them. Um, so, we buy a lot of lamps, just so you know. Um, we haven't been doing it recently because, well, it takes a lot of money to invest into good, good lamps and to be able to resell them. But the more I sell, the more I can buy. So the more you buy, the more I can buy, the more I can give to you. So, all right, let's see. So this is part, I think, of that. So this is a uh, part of a buffet stand for a Pyrex dish. Um, it is probably silver plate, silver. Um, it's a buffet stand. Sometimes they come with warmers. This one does not have a warmer. Um, it's just a standard buffet server. So there is a vintage piece of Pyrex that goes with that. And I am not quite sure what it was probably in here. Okay. Sorry about that. He wanted to move the lamp so that y'all could see a little bit better. So the piece of Pyrex that goes in it is right here. It's just your standard casserole dish from Pyrex. I think it's two quarts, two quarts. And that goes right in there, just like that. And this would be great for a dinner service. We have holidays dinners coming up. So this would be an amazing piece to set a beautiful formal table with um, for dinner, um, weddings, things like that. And then that other piece that you saw just a minute ago that's in this box this is what goes on there. And there you have that. I know. They want to be in the video too. They're like, we want to be movie stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Next, I have this. I got this for a really good deal. And this is honestly going to go with another listing that I have. I have another WMA Rogers um, teapot with creamer and sugar set. Um, and a lot of them are sold with trays. And I didn't have a tray when I bought this. It was a really good deal. Um, and so when we went out today, there were several trays laying around. And I dug and dug. And I finally found one that was the same brand. Um, it fits in very nicely with the set that I already have. And so it will be added to that listing. Um, to be more of a complete set. Um, I tend to do that too if I'm out and about. Um, in fact, I have something on my channel now or my shop now, not my channel, but my shop, um, that is a bowl stand. I have a tendency sometimes to buy things not knowing what they are until I get them home and I research them. And so I thought it was this cool fluted looking base that you could use for storage. I just knew it was cool looking. Um, but when I got home, I found out it was like this turn of the century fruit bowl stand. There's a bowl that goes on top of the stand for it, and now I'm on the lookout for the bowl, but I'm afraid the bowl's going to be pricey. I really got the stand at a very good deal because I don't think they knew what they had. I mean, I didn't even know what I had until I got home and researched it. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't sell before I find the bowl because I'd really like to sell those together. But if it sells, it sells. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing it for anyway. And the more I can sell, the more I can buy. So that's always good. Okay, so we're going to put that here. All right, next. Okay. Oh, AR Peddler Wagon. <laughs> and I'll say Etsy wrong a lot because I have to think about how it's spelled because I called it Etsy for years before I even started this shop. And um, I tend to call it the wrong thing. You know, you'd think if somebody was paying me and I was making money from them that I would at least get their name correct. Mm, but I don't think they'd mind. Anyway, okay, let's see. Uh, it's an empty bag. We don't need that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, this is my other favorite one. I have a lot of favorites. But this I got a really good deal on. And so I bought it. Left in is a very collectible porcelain maker. And porcelain ceramics and... Uh, Porcelain, left in porcelain and ceramics um, are obviously usually pretty well priced. 
Um, so if you can find one that's not and is at a good price, smack it. Because um, even if you don't sell it right away, it's just going to add value and money as it, it ages. Um, so it was a vanity set. I love vanity sets. You'll learn I love vanities. I love vanity sets. Um, girly things, powder boxes, trinket boxes, glass. Um, and so... This kind of fit right into what I love. So this is a vanity set. It's actually an ashtray, you know, because, well, you know, ladies used to smoke a lot more. <laughs> I used to be a smoker, but I quit. So, you know, yeah, blame it on Generation X, of which I am a part of. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it from here. What I mean by Lefton is there is a mark on here, and it says Lefton China. Um, hand painted. These pieces are always hand painted. Um, it's gold gilded. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is, um, but there's not a lot of wear in this. And like I said, um, there's a stopper. I'll find it here in a minute. Um, but like I said, this is a very, very beautiful piece. Um, this, I guess, I'm guessing was like a little perfume bottle. Um, I'm not quite sure, um, but who cares? It's cute. I wonder if I can find the stopper real quick before I get too far ahead. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! It's so cute! And a lot of this stuff is, this is how I do it, okay? If I would buy it and keep it for myself, <laughs> I'm trying to buy it and just sell it. Because I have a tendency, stuff like this, like I'm like, oh, if it doesn't sell, it's so freaking cute, I can just keep it. So, but that's not good for me, and I don't have room, and I don't need to be a hoarder. So, yes. So, if you like it, too, you can, you can have it. It'll be at a very good price. You'll see. All right. On to the next thing. All right. More paper. Oh, this is the lid. So, I'm going to unwrap it in here. And these are super cute. I see these all the time online on Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. <laughs> see, I told you. I can mispronounce it every time. So it is a pink depression glass candy dish. Um, it is a certain kind. I forgot what it's called because of the hearts. Um, they're super common to find. Um, but it was a really good deal. Um, so I thought... Why not? Um, and like I said, it's it's pink. I really like pink. And so if it doesn't sell, what a shame. You know, it can sit in my house. It'll be fun. Okay. All right. Onward. Okay. So that was the end of this bag. Let me go ahead and put this over here. And we'll try to move stuff over here so that I know that I've already went through it. Okay. And so... He's cutting it a lot, so this video is going to be really choppy. Because, yeah, well, it's okay. We're amateurs. Oh, we're, yeah. we're amateurs. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not my kid's generation who does this all the time. They're always on the phone. My phone is, I scroll on Google News Feed and Facebook, and I guess their generation Facebook is old. You know, it's Instagram, you know, and like I said, I don't like seeing myself on camera because I'm what they call cringe i cringe when i hear myself yeah i'm cringe yeah that's that's and that what they call it cringe yeah cringe yes oh these are gonna be really cool when i get done oh just bear in mind this is part of a bigger thing One. Can you see it? This is the other pair of lamps that I told you that I got. So...
So a cool little thing about these lamps is there's light bulbs that go with them too. So I'm going to show you these lamps. They need to be cleaned up. The bulbs were over here. That's what those little bulbs go to. So cool thing about these lamp, these lamps, and I don't know if anyone is going to notice. So we're going to see if anyone notices. And I will probably sell these separate because of this. Can anyone see what, what's going on with these lamps? So, number one, these are different. These are not the same. So, I will probably sell these individually. Um, I might sell them as a pair. I'm not sure. Also, crystals are supposed to go here. There's little holes for the crystals to go into. Which is nothing. I can buy those at Hobby Lobby and replace them, which I probably will do. Um, in the meantime, I might be on the Outlook for another shade that actually matches. But until then, it doesn't really matter because, you know, they're still really, really cute. And I got a really amazing deal on them anyway. So it doesn't even matter that they're not the same. Honestly, I didn't realize it until we got home that these were different. But that's fine. I can always sell them separately. But... I'll probably sell them together. I already know what I'm going to do. I think I already know where I can go and find one of these. And I think you do too, if I remind you later. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, so let's put these out of the way. All right. No, Dot. You don't need in there. So this is the big box. This is from a place that we went to over in Opelo. Um, It's two stories. I love that flea market. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. It looks like a born. So if anybody can think of the name of it, um, please comment down below so people know what the name of that flea market is. Um, because I always find really amazing stuff there. Um, but I just can't think of their name right now. Um, and this one booth in there had a sale going on. And I practically... Bought this lady's poor whole booth because, well, she just had a really amazing products with a lot of amazing things. So, all right, number one. This is an Indiana Glass Carnival Glass, Indiana Glass Carnival Glass fluted bowl with a grape and orange motif. Um, it's fairly common, um, but it was a good deal. It's really beautiful. Um, I don't know if you're Seeing the way the light catches it, can you tell in the video? Um, it's really beautiful. I take a lot of yeah, I take a lot of my pictures outside when it comes to the glass. I love glass. Um, you'll see a lot of glass on my shop. I love glass. I love unique, um, but I really love vintage glass. And I used to have to, I have to tell myself no a lot um, because the one thing I found about doing this now that I'm getting a little bit better at it and I have more money to spend is it's still not enough. I still have to walk away from deals because um, I find really good stuff and um, I want to buy it all. So, um, but I'm not buying it to keep it. Like I'm trying to give it to you guys. It's for you. Okay. But anyway, all right. So there's this. And then let's see. Oh, I'm all in the way. I'm not good at this. Ooh, that's, yes, okay. This, I'm going to put to the side. I bought this huge set. There's a huge set in here I bought that's like, I think it's four pieces um, of this vintage porcelain hand-painted china, and it is gorgeous. And the price I paid for it, I feel ashamed. <laughs> because, um, yeah, it just, it's, uh, yes, it's worth so much more. Um, but don't worry, like I said, um, I'll pass on my savings. Um, I don't gouge people. So, um, when I find a good deal, you find a good deal. That's how it works. So, all right. And then, oh, that's part of it. I'm going to keep all those pieces to the side so I can unveil them all at the same time. So, give me just a second and we'll go through these and I'll see. Yep, that's another piece. Like I told you, it's like four pieces, and it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. This I'm gonna. Okay. Oh yes, this is another one of my finds today that I thought I did good on. 
So this is one. And then let me see. Oh, there's two. So um, cool thing about these lamps already. One has original. One has been rewired, um, which is fine. Um, I like to find them in original shape, but sometimes you'd be amazed how many cords we have to replace. Um, cords are not that big a deal. It doesn't matter to me um, because my husband works on these. He loves lamps. Um, so they've already kind of done the job for us. Um, and maybe that's why they gave us such a good deal on these because, again, I got these at, at a steal. Um, and I'm just going to show you the rest of it. As soon as I get... You ready? You going to come up here? There's one. These are beautiful milk glass hurricane electric lamps. My grandmother, actually, my memo Parker, had a pair of these. Um, I don't know what ever happened to them. Um, so, but I love these. Um, these are another one of my favorite finds today. I did really good on these. I got these for a great deal. Um, so like I said, be on the lookout. Um, just bear in mind, a lot of my lamps, um, they are, compared to the rest of Etsy um, on lamps, I think I do fairly well with pricing. Um, but do bear in mind, I get free shipping with these lamps. Um, and I take a lot of pride, you can ask my husband, in shipping these lamps to make sure that they do not break. Um, so even though you're paying for that price, also know you're paying for peace of mind because if something happens in shipping and it's damaged, I have no problem, no problem refunding. I had a lady, the flu broke in one of the hurricane lamps that we sent her, um, and she didn't even ask for a refund, but I kindly refunded her because that's just how I want to do business. I mean, I know that it might not have been my fault, but I'm the one that packed it. Um, I'm the one that wrote fragile in the box. Um, so, and it got broke. And so um, I have no problem making sure that your purchase is secure, basically. Um, because these lamps are not the easiest thing to ship. They're fragile, a lot of them, especially your hand-painted hurricane lamps, which that one was. Um, you know, like this has thin glass. Um, this. So, um, just bear in mind, you know, um, I do pass on savings, but your shipping is included in that. So, all uh, right. Oh, this one. This is an L.E. Smith Moon and Stars Pedestal Bowl Amber. I already have some L.E. Smith Pedestal Bowl um, Ambrina, it's M, okay, it's Ambrina, Ellie Smith, Smith, Moon and Stars, Ambrina Glass. Um, it's glass that changes in a UV light or black light, um, which I haven't bought yet, which I'm going to invest in because you'd be amazed how many pieces actually like glow in the dark or glow green or are certain pieces that people don't know, um, uranium, jadeite, things like that that glow in the dark. Um, and it's just really cool. But this is the amber version of the ones I already have on my shop. Um, I have a pedestal one and I have a short squatty one. Um, they're candy bowls. Um, they're mid-century. Um, they're very collectible, very beautiful. This one is in amazing condition. Um, and as you can see there, I am absolutely ecstatic about this. I love this find. Um, it goes good with my collection, and at the end of the day, like I said, I, I do want to sell all this, but if it doesn't sell, it's not the end of the world. I can hold on to it until then. So, all right, so that can go there for a second. Oh, all right, let's see what we got next. I'm starting to forget what all I bought. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited about this. Um... Thanks, Billy. Okay, so this, I unwrapped it accidentally, but so this is Indiana glass, rainbow, um, I'm sorry, ruby flash or cranberry glass um, or cranberry flashing, so to speak. It's diamond point glass made by Indiana Glass Company um, around the 1960s. Um, it does have a small chip right there on the inside, but it's not 
It's not too bad. I don't know if you can see how noticeable it is. You really can't tell unless you're like up on it, looking inside. You can kind of see it go in. Yeah, um, you can, see, you can see a little bit, but it's not. It's not bad. Um, and I have other pieces on my shop that match this. I have the ice bucket slash cookie jar. Um, some people call it a cookie jar. Some people think it was an ice bucket. I honestly don't know if it was an ice bucket or a cookie jar. If you go on there and you know what I'm talking about and you want to comment on the video and let me know, that would be greatly appreciated because I've seen it listed as a cookie jar. I've seen it listed as an ice bucket. Um, I think it's an ice bucket. I kind of have a thing for ice buckets because, you know, I got one today. Um, but anyway, this matches it and a butter dish um, with the same design. So... And this was a really good find. Like I said, um, this lady, almost all of this came out of her booth. And um, I don't know who you are or if you're ever going to watch my video. But if you got more, I would gladly look for you because um, I think I could help you. I think we could make a deal. Okay. All right. So, shameless ploy there. Okay. All right, so all this is empty. So now I'm going to show you the other pieces that I told you that I got. It was four pieces of this vintage porcelain um, that I thought was just amazing. I don't really remember what the maker was because it's just, it's so gorgeous. I don't even really care um, because it's just, it's, it's really pretty. So you, you'll see. All right, so this is the relish tray. I don't know if you can see that. It is gold gilded. It's a very beautiful, very, very beautiful design. It is um, gold castle made in Japan. So, so there's that. That goes with it. Then there is a gravy boat. So this one is the same. The mark does look different. If you can see. But it is definitely the same um, pattern. It is the same set. It goes all together. No, I'm not. I got it. I'm just moving some stuff around. Yeah, I got it. So that is something I need to unwrap to that. I'll put that there. Bear with me. I'm just trying to get some of this off of the table. And once this set is done, we'll be done. So, I think. Oh, no. Is that another box down there? No, I'm done with that box. Okay. Okay, I'm done with that box. I bought a lot of stuff today. Like I said, I lost track. Okay. So, this is the lid to, I believe, a sugar bowl. And a cream roll? Is that it? No, there's the sugar. Oh, no. I'm missing one. We're missing a bowl. So this is the creamer, and then I'm looking for sugar. So let's see if we have it. Okay, sorry about that. I had to dig through the box, but I found it. I thought, oh no, I lost it. But no. So there's the sugar bowl. It goes on this. So the sugar, so you have a sugar bowl, a creamer bowl, or creamer, the relish tray, and the gravy bowl. Beautiful, beautiful for a service, um, for a table service. Um, it's just beautiful. I just think this is so cute. Um, another one of those things that, like I said, if I want it, I'm going to buy it. Um, but I'm going to pass it on to you. So. But that is all I have. Um, I think that's everything that we've shown you. That box is empty. That one's done. So, like I said, go online and to our shop, arpedlerwagon.com um, or dot, et, no, peddler, arpedlerwagon at etsy.com. My bad. Um, at oh, Etsy. See, I'm, I'm not good at this. That's why I don't do this. Um, so, in case you don't see me again, because this was terrifying, um, it's been real. So, catch you later. So, yeah, guys, I told y'all that uh, she's always kind of camera shy. I thought she did pretty good. So, y'all leave us a comment. Tell me what y'all think that she did. I thought she did great.